just got my hurricane lantern uh great dorset steam fair 2022 got that one for three pound uh it does work there's no wick in it um glass is intact it's just very dirty and greasy so i thought i'll just clean this one um and I thought I'd use oven cleaner. That's as far as I'm going to take that apart. I'm just going to spray it up, put it in a box, you know, with like a plastic box, leave it for an hour, give it a wash off, see what we got. A very liberal spraying of my lantern. Um, don't forget to turn it upside down and just get as much as, much as that stuff in it as you can it's been 30 minutes and i've decided to hit it with the old toothbrush give it a quick once over you know the worst bits uh another spray 20 minutes wash it off um take it from there i'm not going to spray it again i think that's plenty it's still wet which i thought might have dried out so i've moved all the chemicals around you know the oven cleaner so I think that'll do. I'll uh, give it a wash off. Just rinse this off in the bath. Um, some of the paint come off. I think somebody sprayed it with a car paint a few years ago, so I was happy with that. Um, gave it another go with a toothbrush, get some of that paint off. I chucked it in some fairy liquid. I'm going to take it out of there and uh, rinse it off with clean water and see what we got. And that's what we've got. So we better... Um, have a quick look at it. Well, that's all right. I don't mind that. That's come out really well. Get this thing out. I think the last thing I'll do is going to fill the you know, where you put the paraffin in, I'm going to fill that water right to the brim, see if it leaks. And if it doesn't leak, I've got a hurricane lamp for three quid. And the top. So, I'm going to fill that up. See if it leaks, and if it doesn't leak, ooh, bargain. All clean. That done that a treat. Like I said, I've never seen it done before. But for the cleaning process, that worked a treat. I've just got to take it a stage further now. Because it leaks. It leaks everywhere. So at the beginning of the process, I would chuck a load of little washers and nuts in it, fire some oven cleaner down there as well, shake it, can't shake it enough, and go through all the, the process. And then you'll have a clean tank inside, rust free. What I've done now, I've got Poundland, super glue, you get seven. Because I had a load of pinholes in there, I just coated the bottom in super glue. So that's just super glue painted on. Got to work fast, mind, but it does the job. And now I've sealed the outside of the tank and I'm going to do the rest of it because I like the look of it. It's like a soft sheen and I didn't want to spray it up. So I'm just going to coat the rest of it in super glue. But now I've tested it and the reservoir is waterproof well, waterproof it doesn't leak so stage two i'm going to do the inside of the tank it's all cleaned out there's no rust in it there's no paraffin left in it clean as a whistle i was after somewhere else but i come across this marine world oh, stuff and it is chemical and petroleum resistant so I thought I'm going to mix those two together with some thinner 
so I can get it to the right consistency. Mix it in my pot. Obviously, I've been to Costa's because I've got a stirring stick and the old Costa's pot. Get it to the right consistency. Pour it in the hole. And then I'm going to move it about. And it might even go upside down. And I'll do the whole tank. I know it doesn't need it, but I'm worried about fumes and vapours that leak out. So I'll put tissue paper, stuff that in there, stuff it in there. Move it all about. Completely coat the inside of the tank out. I shall super glue it again. As I'm doing the rest, I shall give it another coat or two of super glue on the outside. And then we'll see what we've got. I'll start mixing it until it, I don't know, turns grey, I suppose. And then start adding a thinner until I'm happy. Well, I'm going to give that a go. So it's sort of... that consistency hard to say really like I said I don't know it's just an experiment and I hope it works well the bottom's coated easily I checked it with me torch so I could shine down it I was happy with the bottom and now I'm just gonna start moving it just guessing with the consistency on how much to do and I'm just going to increase the angle don't want it dripping but I am going to do the whole tank whether it works or not we'll soon see it's hard to tell once it's done as long as it fixes the leaks I'm happy so I'm going to put my camera down because I want to get this all done properly tanks all done I nearly used all that marine weld Surprising, really. Surprised me. I was gentle to start with. And then I got a bit vicious with it. I shook it like a billy can. Shook it everywhere, every angle. Coat it up. I done it gentle. I done it harsh. Any way I could think of doing it, just to coat it all. And as I was waiting for it to go off, I super glued it. I only started super gluing it just to fix the outside of the tank, really. I think you can just put tape on it, but it was so many leaks everywhere. I thought super glue, that would go in them little holes, just so I could fix the inside. Uh, it was never going to be pristine. I was never going to spray it. I want it working. I want it functional, and I think that tank is never going to leak. Very happy with the look of it. I think the sheen might die down a little bit. I said I've only just done it, but I didn't want a new one. I wanted an old one. I just wanted to clean it and get going, but I had to fix a tank on this one. Quick trick on how to put wick in. Saw it at Blanford Steam Rally by the woman who'd done the lantern and sold me the wick. Stuck a little bit of sellotape on it. Push the sellotape in your slot. Pull it. Wind it down. Take the sellotape off. Not easy. Time to put it all together again. Um, one thing I did notice, which I didn't notice when I bought it, and I didn't know when I was doing it all up, I've only really just noticed it now. He's Ben. There's a big dink there so I think he's fallen from a great height went like that because I hit a dent out at the top here as well didn't really notice it but he's proper bent that one I should have picked another one it would have been easier tank might have not leaked on that one but live and learn I said I've never owned one before I didn't know anything about them so I got back from Blanford Steam Rally Thursday night Straight on YouTube. See what the story is with these things. Looked at a load of videos to try and figure out what you do with it. How they work. I still don't really know. So I'm a complete novice. So as for doing the um, oven cleaner or 
Oh. Anything like that. So it's all made up. It's all... Does that work really round? Yeah. Oven cleaner, the super glue. Um, I've seen the tank getting done, but not with the stuff I used. But it's chemical friendly, so I thought it should work. Um, and it all works, but I think you can tell how truly bent it is. Definitely should have picked a different one. But I like the look of it, and it's mine now. Um, I'll fill them up, and then... Huh. So I've only got a little bit of paraffin, but uh, class is it, it's precious. Oh, no, leaky. So I ain't going to put much in there. I was going to leave it 10 minutes for the wick to soak up a bit before I try lighting it, and hopefully it will be all right. I quite like the look of it now, the patination of it. Is that enough in there? Let's get a bit more in. Like that, so it was the only bottle I had. But I just said, went round to my brothers and I said, Oh, can I have some paraffin oil? Yeah, got a bottle then. It's just like, well, I'll go for the garbage and pick this out, give it a quick wash. That's plenty. So, as I was saying, I like the look of it. I don't like how bent it is, but I do like the look of it. Um, it's a nice. I think it's a nice patination to it now. So, all it's got to do is not leak and light. And then, yeah, I am happy. I am now. The amount of time I spent on it. Well, not much. It was sort of like waiting time, really. So, oven cleaner. Start to finish hour. Then I had to do it again because I had a rusty tank. So I should have done that in the same process. So if you are going to do one, strip it apart, chuck nuts and bolts in it straight away, nuts and bolts, washers, anything. Do that as part of the process and then take it from there. Super glue, I think, was the real... Well, it's the only way I could think of fixing the outside of the tank. So I wanted to fix the inside of the tank. So I super glued it. Hopefully it worked, which it did, because I filled it out of water and it didn't leak. And then... When I filled the inside of the tank up with uh, whatever it was, marine weld, um, nothing nothing came out. I ain't going to tip it up too much. But, yeah, well happy. So, we'll give them 10 minutes and see what we got. Hopefully it'll light. Let's try lighting them then. We'll get that out of the way. Don't want that going up. Yeah. Oh, straight away. Uh -huh -huh. Oh, very nice. Oh, yes. Got myself a hurricane lantern. Excellent. Yep, yep, more than happy. I am very happy, actually. 